Hi there, my name is Whitney Wisner and I am the Deputy Director of Allegan County Central Dispatch, which you may know better as 911. I have worked with Allegan County for 10 years, four of those as a dispatcher, three years as a supervisor, and three years as a Deputy Director. What's a Deputy Director do? That's a good question. There are a few different administrative roles here in Central Dispatch. So an administrative role is somebody who's not taking the 911 calls here in our center. Uh, two of those roles are the director, my boss, and then myself, the deputy director. The director oversees things like the policies, our budget, and he focuses on our long-term goals to make sure that we're adapting to things like technology advancements and things like that. One of my responsibilities as the deputy director is to oversee all of our relationships with our public safety partners. We work with nine police departments, five ambulance services, and 20 fire departments. Uh, out of all those, there's about a thousand public safety partners. Not all of them are full-time. Most of our firefighters, which is our biggest number of public safety partners, are paid on call. But most of our paramedics and our police officers are all full-time. My goal is to make sure that we are doing everything we can in Central Dispatch to best support our public safety partners while they are out on the road. Another big portion of my job is to oversee the operations. So I wanna make sure that our equipment is up to date and that we're following best practices and industry standards, which means we're mimicking what our partners in our surrounding counties are doing and kind of figuring out what works best for us. The most important part of my job is taking care of the people that work for me. I have over 20 people that work for me and they work nights, weekends, holidays. They spend a lot of time away from their families, so I really wanna take good care of them so that they can take good care of you. I oversee all of their scheduling, and just like I said, I wanna really make sure I take care of them, so my job is very dynamic, it's very fast moving, and I'm never quite sure what I'm going to walk into for the day, but that's one of the reasons why I love my job. One of the interesting things about 911 is this room I'm standing in. We call this the quiet room here in Allegan, and it's just that. It's a place where dispatchers can come, turn the lights down if they need a minute, sit on the couches, and just have a little bit of a break. Or, more commonly, it's used to sleep. I've slept in this room countless times. I live about a 35-minute drive away from our building, and that's on clear, dry roads. And when we have really big storms come in, sometimes we can't leave our center. We've stacked people in here on all different cots that we can lay out and people sleep and then wake up the next morning and go back to work. So it's kind of a unique thing, but it works really well for us. And we're really thankful to have a place that we can stay safely so we don't have to drive back and forth for work. In the 911 center, we have it separated into two sides. On one side, we have our call takers who will take all of our emergency and non-emergency phone calls that come into the center. Here, they'll dispatch out the fire department or an ambulance if it's needed. A dispatcher will notify a firefighter or an EMT of a call for service by sending a page to the pager worn on their hip. The pager alerts the first responder with a set of beeps followed by any pertinent information delivered by the dispatcher. Police officers, firefighters, and EMTs can communicate back with dispatch through their handheld portable radio or their mobile radio mounted in their vehicle. Elgin Central to Fenville First Responders, Fenville First Responders, for a priority one at Dogwood Manor, 5299-124th, 5299-124th Avenue. It's gonna be by the mailboxes. Third party caller advising that a male subject flagged him down, said he was having difficulty breathing. Central Clear 1340. On the other side of the room are our radio dispatchers. The dispatcher that's on our prime law enforcement channel is focused solely on officer safety. They will monitor all of the incoming calls that the call takers are putting in and dispatch them appropriately. The position directly next door to that law enforcement dispatcher is called our LEAN position. The acronym for LEAN stands for Law Enforcement Information Network. That dispatcher's sole responsibility is to run license plates, driver's license checks, 
PPOs, and they also are an overflow position that will take incoming 911 calls if the call takers are overwhelmed. If you're interested in 911, there are some things that you can do right now to better prepare yourself for this field of work. The first thing you can do is practice active listening. Active listening is when you listen to understand and not listen to respond. That can be really difficult for adults to do sometimes in a conversation, especially when the other person is kind of excited or a little bit heated. But um, it's really important to be able to do active listening. Another thing that dispatchers need to be good at used to be called multitasking. However, there are studies that show you can't truly multitask. So what they call it now is being able to quickly switch between skills. Um, a way that you could practice quickly switching between skills would be while you're riding in a vehicle as a passenger, maybe talking on the phone and trying to listen to what's going on at the radio at the same time. Because that's very similar to what you do in 911. We're talking on the phone to a caller and we're trying to listen to what's going on on the radio. Another thing that you can do, uh, and this is really important for adults to even do, you'd be surprised how many adults cannot do this, but be able to quickly identify where you're at. So when you're driving in a vehicle, always know what road you're on. And if you don't know what road you're on, it's really simple. Just wait until you pass by a street sign and say, oh yeah, I am on 58th Street. You know, that's the main road that runs between Fenville and Holland. That's how we, that's the road we take to get up to Holland when we go grocery shopping or something like that. It's important to always know where you're at. Another thing that's important is knowing north, south, east, and west directions. Here in dispatch, we use those all the time. And there are a lot of people, a lot of moms and dads and adults that don't know their directions. So uh, for me, I always think when I go up north, I can picture the direction that I travel and when I which would be north obviously and when I go to Lake Michigan I know that Lake Michigan is to the west of us so then I can orient myself quickly and think okay Lake Michigan is this way so that way is west which means this way is east so those are a couple of tips that you can use to practice and those are really important to get you ready for the field of 911 There can definitely be challenges working in 911 I often tell people that your worst day is my work day. And that can be really difficult to take home with at the end of the night or at the end of a shift. But there are also some really cool things. We, we know that we are the ones that are here to answer your phone call and we're the ones that you guys reach out to when you need help. And that's a really powerful feeling. That's, we appreciate that. Um, another cool thing about working in dispatch is you're really always in the know. So how often does a fire truck go flying by or a police officer goes by with their lights and sirens on and you stop and wonder, I wonder what they're going to? Well, when you work in dispatch, you kind of always know what they're going to. Another really cool perk of working in 911 is here in Allen County, we are responsible for setting off all of the outdoor warning systems here in the county. What's that? The tornado sirens. How cool is that? Uh, we can set it off with just the push of a button on one of our computer screens and we can set them off whether we set the whole county off, which isn't very often because for all the whole county to be worried about a tornado is, is not real common. But there's definitely little pockets of the county we have to be concerned about when the National Weather Service lets us know. Um, I hope you guys will consider a career in 911. We're going to be around for a long time. To tell you what, when I see people doing something that's like a little bit dangerous or kind of, you know, ugh, I do that, I always joke to myself, hmm, job security. So uh, we love to take care of you guys. I'd love to bring you on board. In fact, I currently have right now working for me three Fenville graduates. So we'd love to bring another one of you on here in a few years. Make sure you stay in school, get good grades, stay out of trouble. One of the most important things. And if you need us, you guys know how to get a hold of us.